But how do I look? My hair wouldn't poof right today. It's a little flat, but anyhow. <laughs> now, y'all have some chips here. This is Butch's favorite little football chip tray. <laughs> so, uh, well, let's roll them, like they say in the movies. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Kelly's mom. <laughs> Kelly talks about religion in his show. Religion? Oh. Well, Kelly was uh, very involved with the Baptist Church, actually, when he was younger. Which is, uh, which is surprising, given what he pulled one Sunday morning during church services when he was five years old. <laughs> now, you're not going to believe this, but it's a true story. There we were in the Cordell, Oklahoma Baptist Church during Sunday services. And Kelly runs up to the front of the church and starts doing a tribal dance like an Indian around the preacher. Going, woo, 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 woo. And then to make matters worse, he ran over to a statue of Jesus and started licking its genitals. <laughs> licking its genitals right there in front of the whole congregation. His dad had to pull him off the Jesus. <laughs> it is the gospel truth. I am dying if I'm lying. <laughs> So I guess the whole point is, I always knew Kelly was going to be a little different, if you know what I mean. <laughs> he was a little like, um, an alien. Would you say that Kelly believes in God? Does Kelly believe in God? Uh, yes, he does, and his God's name is Madonna. <laughs> he worshiped Madonna, for Christ's sakes. I mean, you should see his room. It's decorated like an old Hollywood movie set, and he's got all this Madonna paraphernalia all over the place. I mean, it's still like that. He won't let us take any of it down. And to be honest with you, I don't think he only worshipped her. I think he actually wanted to be Madonna. I mean, he'd bleach his hair blonde, and he'd draw this beauty mark on above his upper lip with a permanent black magic marker, and he'd go to school like that. All the other kids would just stare at him. But he's my pride and joy. My little baby boy. Or, well, you know. <sighs> You know, I've got to get this off my chest. And I've never told anyone this before. But I kind of feel like I'm on Oprah right now, even though I prefer Ellen. But um, when I was pregnant with Kelly, I was visited by an alien. Susie, get down from there! I just burnished the arms of those couches! Bitch, come get Susie and put him outside. He's got gas and he's farting all over my varnished couches and these people are here trying to film me for Kelly's show. I swear to God, my husband Butch doesn't do nothing but sit back there all day long and watch football. That's what I get for marrying a football coach. If I wasn't such a hard-shell Pentecostal, I'd divorce your rusty ass. Ugh. Oh, this alien. Okay, well, laugh if you want to, but it's the damn truth. When I was pregnant with Kelly, I was visited by an alien. Now, see, here's what happened. I got pregnant twice in my life, and both times was an accident. Because to be honest with you, I really didn't want kids. And the main reason I didn't want kids is because I knew that each time I had one, there'd be a 50% chance it could come out female. And I didn't want a girl. I mean, I cannot tell you the anxiety that I went through each time I was pregnant on my hands and knees to dear God above, praying he not give me a girl. Because you know what they say. Your son's your son until he gets a wife, but your daughter's your daughter for the rest of your life. And I did not want to carry that burden around on my shoulders or my bank account for the rest of my life. And I mean, you know, I don't mean to sound vain or anything, <laughs> but my whole life has been built around my beauty, you know, and how pretty I am. I mean, I did not win first runner-up the Miss Pecan pageant three years standing based on my IQ alone. <laughs> So I'll be damned if I was going to start sharing that spotlight with a daughter. Well, lo and behold, I gave birth to Kelly. God has a funny sense of humor, doesn't he? So there I was with a half girl, half boy. Well, I mean, not like in some weird Hermaphrodites, Janet Reno kind of way. Just, you know, he likes being both. Which I've grown to love about him. And, you know... To be honest with you, I guess it wasn't as threatening that my daughter be as beautiful as I am when he's actually my son, you know. Oh, but we're so proud of him. Just so proud of Kelly. Dad just beams with pride and everything. <gasps> oh, so I'm just so proud of him. You know, that, that he's had the balls to, to go out there to Hollywood and... You know, follow his dreams. 
even if it was in a dress. I mean, especially since it's in a dress. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's more than I can say for the deadbeat redneck who hauls and he hauls in this town. <laughs> so what were you saying about an alien? Oh, the alien. Well, listen, there I was, pregnant with Kelly, and I went and had three ultrasounds done. Not one, not two, but three. And each time they came back 100% positive that the baby inside my belly was indeed a girl. That's why I went back for three, because I was hoping they were all a mistake. But no, they all said I was going to have a girl. So here's my question to you. How the hell did Kelly come out as a boy? Well, on the night that I was giving birth to Kelly, as I was falling off to sleep, this alien came to me and said, you're going to give birth to a satellite baby. And I said, satellite baby? Well, what the hell is that? 